Two Track Ministries, where truth is revealed, explained, and visualized. We are going to continue our series, The Advent Response, where we will produce remnant responses to arguments against God, the Bible, and Adventism. Today we are going to look at something that has been generally said in many different forums, in many different contexts, and it is this. Why are SDAs so fixated on the Sabbath? It's a very interesting question. I want to do my best to provide the Advent response to such a question. Let's pray as we get right into the Advent response. Dear Father, we thank you so much for your word. I pray that your word will be made clear as we seek to understand the importance of the Sabbath to Seventh-day Adventists and why it is relevant and important for the world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, the first thing I want to clarify is this. Seventh day Adventists believe that the entire law is important, all right? And you can see that very clearly in our fundamental beliefs. It is very clear that salvation is all of grace and not of works, and its fruit is obedience to the commandments. That's extremely important to understand. To the commandments. It does not specify any one of the Ten Commandments. It refers to all of them. This obedience develops Christian character and results in a sense of well-being. It is evidence of our love for the Lord and our concern for our fellow human beings. The obedience of faith demonstrates the power of Christ to transform lives and therefore strengthens Christian witness. It is quite clear here that the entire law is important and the entire law is only the fruit of salvation. In other words, we are only able to keep the law, we only love to keep the law because we are saved. It is because we have received this grace that we are able and willing to follow his commandments. All right, The entire law is important and I hope that that's clear. This is the official statement of the Seventh-day Adventist Church on our fundamental belief number 19, the law of God. Feel free to check out the website for more information on that. The Bible also agrees with this point. The Bible is very clear that the entire law is important even today. James chapter 2 verse 10 says, Whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. The scripture is very clear that conformity to the entire law of God has always been God's requirement. From the beginning of time all the way to now, it is abundantly clear that God's eternal law, that's according to Psalms 111 verses 7 and 8, is to be kept. And I want you to realize that this has always been God's desire for his people. In Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 29, here God is speaking to Moses and says to him, that I wish that they had a heart in them that they would fear me and keep all my commandments always. Yes, it has always been God's desire that his people follow all his commandments always. So it's important that you understand that yes, while the Sabbath may be prioritized, it is not the only commandment that we emphasize. We believe as Seventh-day Adventists that the entire law is important, the entire law is eternal, the entire law should be kept. Conformity to the entire law has always been the desire of God. Nevertheless, I am not going to deny that there is a special emphasis on the seventh day Sabbath. The question is why? Why is it so important? And again, I would not go as far as saying that we are obsessed with the Sabbath or we are so fixated on the Sabbath, but I believe that as a church, we have been called to put the Sabbath back in its proper place. And we will look at a few reasons why the Sabbath is so important. As a remnant church who has been called to keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus, it is important that we see 
that because of the times that we are living in, the Sabbath does have an end time significance. And I want to just give you a few reasons why. We will look at three of them, but there's a lot more than three. All right. So let's go through them together. And maybe you would understand why so many Seventh-day Adventists are giving priority to the lifting up, the emphasizing of the truth of the Seventh-day Sabbath. All right. So let's see why it might be so important to us the first reason is that it's actually a part of the message yes the sharing of the truth of the seven day sabbath is a part of the message that is the three angels messages that are being shared by the seven day adventist church currently for example you'd realize in revelation chapter 14 verses 6 and 7 that there are three angels who are again symbolic these three angels represent a movement that's sharing the everlasting gospel we understand that the, the center of the everlasting gospel is christ and part of that everlasting gospel is a call to every nation kindred tongue and people to worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters now if you are a bible student of revelation you would know that over 70 percent of revelations terminologies words stories illustrations symbols are actually taken from other parts of the bible if you want to interpret the symbols of revelation i would recommend that you go through the bible first all right all the books of the bible meet and end in revelation now this phrase here that's highlighted in yellow is actually directly taken from the fourth commandment and that's important because what that tells me is that part of the first angel's message is a call to the world that is to every nation kindred tongue and people to true worship it is a call to the world to worship the true god it is a call to those who worship the true god to worship him the right way it is a call to those who worship the true god in the right way to worship him also on the right day that's what the first angel's message is there's no coincidence here because we can see in the fourth commandment the same phrase is used here as well the same phrase is used and we know that there is only one individual that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters the purpose of the first angel's message is to sow a seed in the mind that the inquiring mind might be led back to the fourth commandment this is no coincidence it is clear that the fourth commandment the truth of the seven day sabbath is an integral part of the first angel's message you would realize the same applies to the second angel's message because the second angel points to a religio-political system that seems to influence the world with her false doctrines with her wine you'd realize that if you again allow the bible to explain itself that wine is symbolized in many different ways throughout the bible it, it makes one forget the law it's a tool of deception it leads you to lie with strange women it makes leaders blur the standard between right and wrong they err in vision they stumble in judgment as isaiah puts it and even in the parable of christ he uses wine to illustrate his doctrine new wine is what he used to illustrate pure doctrine so based on the evidence of scripture and the contrast of jesus's parable we can say that wine is used to illustrate false doctrine in other words the same way that literal wine i'm referring here to fermented wine i'm talking about alcohol rum the same impact that this wine has on the body physically is the same impact that false doctrine has on the mind spiritually all right don't forget that so that is why the second angel's message is also significant because in addition to explaining what the truth is of the sabbath we are also called to point out where the error is and why you should turn from that error it's important that you understand that all right the bible predicts that the same system in babylon in daniel 7 25 will think to change times and laws again 
This is an advent response. I'm equipping you to respond to individuals who may claim that we only speak about the Sabbath. We are only fixated on the Sabbath. I'm saying that's not the case, but I want you to also understand why the Sabbath carries greater significance for the Seventh-day Adventist Church. There is a reason why, okay? So, Babylon things to change times and laws and this does refer to the attack of this system babylon against the truth including the seventh day sabbath all right it is not only limited to the sabbath but it does include an attack on the truth of the sabbath all right if you do a study of babylon you would realize that babylon does not only refer to the roman catholic papal system but it also refers to the daughters of the Roman Catholic papal system. That is, every single Christian church that does not biblically protest against the false doctrines of the mother system. Apostate Protestantism is a part of the system Babylon. So the wine that intoxicates the nations of the world is explained here not only in the writings of LNG White, but in scripture as well, as we saw in Daniel 7.25, some of the droplets of wine include the natural immortality of the soul, the eternal torment of the wicked, the denial of the pre-existence of Christ prior to his birth in Bethlehem, and the advocating and exalting the first day of the week above God's holy sanctified day all right so what i'm saying is that the sabbath is also a part of the second angel's message because we are called as the remnant people of god to lift up the standard of truth but also expose those who are fighting against the truth all right so part of the wine that intoxicates the world is the false sabbath in order for it to identify the false Sabbath, you must be able to identify the true Sabbath. I hope that you understand what I'm saying. The world is trampling upon the fourth commandment. And that is why it's important that we bring it back to its proper perspective. And this is where the third angel's message comes in. The third angel's message points out the danger of those who accept the mark of the beast. And in a nutshell, the mark of the beast refers to allegiance to the false Sabbath as it is enforced by the powers of this world, specifically the United States of America and the Roman Catholic Papacy. That's what part of the third angel's message points out. All right. So I'm just trying to show you that the Sabbath is a part of the first angel's message. It's a part of the second angel's message. It's a part of the third angel's message as well. Not just the first part, but the second part as well. Because at the end of the preaching of the three angels' messages, it produces a people that keep the commandments. Does the text say some of the commandments? Does the text say half of the commandments? Does the text say nine of the commandments? No, there is no qualifier here. The people that respond to and share the three angels' messages keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. It's that simple. In addition to that, the truth of the Seventh-day Sabbath is also a part of the mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Yes, according to Isaiah 58 verse 12, the people who are living in the Day of Atonement, following God's instructions, are called not only to minister to the needs of those who are poor and sick and hungry and naked and homeless, but these same people are called to raise up the foundations of many generations they are called to build the old waste places they are called the repairers of the breach the restorer of paths to dwell in the question is what has been neglected and rejected by the other christian churches what has been part of the old paths that has been kicked out of the foundation and God is calling us back to restore it? Believe it or not, this passage actually includes the restoration of truth. All the truth that has been neglected, including the seventh day Sabbath. Yes. 
the truth of the seven day sabbath is not just a part of the message of the adventist church it is also a part of the mission of the seventh day adventist church the third reason is that it's a part of the name yes seventh day adventist now you can see here very clearly as we saw as well in revelation 14 verse 12 that the remnant of her seed that is the remainder of those who are faithful to all the instructions of christ are identified as those that keep the commandments of god and have the testimony of jesus christ it is this text that has inspired the name seventh day adventist according to god's remnant church pages 50 to 51 it says no name which we can take will be appropriate but that which accords with our profession and expresses our faith and marks us a peculiar people the name seventh day adventist is a standing rebuke to the protestant world it is the name the lord has given us it points out the truth that is to be the test of the churches it is a part of the message it is a part of the mission it is a part of the name as well friends of mine believe it or not despite all i have said we are actually just at the tip of the iceberg there are so many reasons why the truth of the seven day sabbath is significant for the end time especially concerning the last day remnant church here are some of the other reasons you would realize here that the sabbath is actually an illustration of salvation it is a sign of the seed of god it is illustrated in the most holy place as you can see in the ten commandments and in the pot of manna the sabbath is significant for the investigative judgment given that the standard for the judgment is the law of god the sabbath will be the main issue for the time of trouble both the little time of trouble and the great time of trouble of jacob's time of trouble and number nine the sabbath will be kept in the new earth this is a sign that the same sabbath that was instituted from creation from the beginning of our time here will be kept even when the earth is made new the sabbath is still significant it is still important god still requires that we keep the sabbath holy friends of mine the sabbath is extremely important we are concerned with the restoration of the entire law however we cannot deny the fact that we are living in a time where the fourth commandment seems to be the most trampled upon commandment most christian churches in fact all christian churches have no issue with commandment numbers five all the way to ten in some christian denominations commandments one two and three might might be a little difficult but number four seems to be one that is most neglected and god has raised the people to bring the sabbath commandment the fourth commandment back to its respected position in the eternal law of god so friends of mine are we only fixated on the sabbath as seventh day adventists here is the advent response the seventh day adventist church is called to restore all neglected bible truths including the seventh day sabbath it is given attention only in proportion to its global neglect and its end time significance friends of mine this is the advent response until next time trev ministries over and out i also want to recommend to you this amazing youtube page the advent defense league this youtube channel mainly hosted by edwin m cotto goes into much deeper and much more complex arguments against adventism against biblical doctrine he also has a facebook group so feel free to join the facebook group and in addition to that there's the exclusive facebook group as well where you can get exclusive information zoom meetings and documents as well i hope that you will check it out see you in the next video